Today I'm going to teach you what I do to deal with having disappointingly thin lips. If you've got thin lips and you want to make them look thicker, I'll teach you all the tricks I've learned about how to create the illusion of having thicker lips. You might also want to try using um, like a lip plumping gloss as well. Can't hurt. Yeah, just using normal makeup, pencils and lipsticks and things. I'll just show you what it is that I do. See what I mean? So thin, so disappointing. You want to keep your lips healthy in general, so you should drink plenty of water and give them the occasional exfoliate with um, a cloth. Moisturise them as well. Use a, use a chapstick. First little trick, which I really like, is to take a dark coloured eyeshadow or something. Some sort of natural colour. You know, brown. This one's a red one. The same, the same one I use on my cheeks. <laughs> and just put a teeny weeny bit on your fingertip and dab it in the corners of your mouth and that creates a kind of slightly cutesy little doll look but you know not too much just enough to make like a little shadow now dark colors will make your lips look smaller dark just gives the illusion of making things look smaller so ideally you want to use a lighter color um, I'm going to use just a sort of brownish pinkish kind of thing you. Come a little bit closer. You want to do a line around your lips in pencil, but go beyond where your lips actually stop. You want to be able to create a sort of a roundness by accentuating the the middle. Just watch. Yeah. Looks a bit crazy at the moment, I know. But yeah, not the not the outer sides, just the middle. Fill it in a little bit. This is just um I don't even know what brand this is, it's been worn off. Just a brown pencil. Next I'm going to fill that in with um, a sort of nude coloured lipstick. Um this is a Revlon one. The sparkling cider, how nice. This trick is very good. Next you want to use a white coloured pencil. Again, I can't tell what brand this is, but whatever, who cares. You know, if not white, if your skin's dark, use a lighter shade um, than your skin. And the two wee lines, I forgot what they're called, <laughs> they go between your nose and your lips. Um, draw lines on those, like this all the way up from your lips to your nose. And then you want to use the white pencil to outline the lip line that you've already done. Another thing you can do is to take a dark colour, I'm going to use black because that's all I have, um, and put that like on the outside bit of your lips and, and blend it in very thoroughly. Next, take a black pencil or a darker shade than the lipstick you have on. This can look bad so just be careful. Try and create like a little sort of U shape at the bottom of your top lip. Don't know if you can see that. And blend it. Like that, but less terrible. Now this last step will require a bit of practice, so try doing it a few times before you go out in public with it. What's quite a good illusion is to make it look like your lips are casting their own shadow. Go about half an inch or so below where your lips stop and draw a tiny, tiny little black line. Tiny. Tiny. And using a smudgy stick or a fingertip, blend it in so it looks more like a shadow and kind of push it more downwards. If 
you overdo it, you can kind of um, even it out a bit more by putting a bit more powder over the top or a bit more white pencil on it. Sorry if I'm kind of squinting a lot, it's really hard for me to actually see the screen. Another trick related to highlights is to take a white pencil or a white eyeshadow or I don't know, a white lipstick and put like a little, a little highlights in the center of your lip. So you've put dark in the corners and light in the middle, which you know, you'll see. And do that kind of all the way down to the bottom, even the part that's not your actual lips, your pretend ones. And last but not least, lip gloss. These are two different L'Oreal ones that I kind of like at the moment. It's best to use kind of like either a clear one or a pearly, pearly whitish one. Don't slather it on obviously, but um, on but do cover up. Very carefully, you don't want to smudge your beautiful work. And there we are. Done. Doesn't that look better? I hope. <laughs> so yeah, do practice and if you give this a go, let me know how you get on. Stay spooky.